Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip, we're going to take a look to uh, natural base. Natural base uh, and the exponential function that contains the natural base. Okay, so let's take a look here. Uh, natural base exponential and exponential function will obey E. So we're going to look here, in fact, first what E is. E is defined by this form. Okay, by like this equation, y equals 1 plus 1 over x, and he raised to the x power. And you have a couple of choices here. Here on this little clip, I use a Excel spreadsheet. Uh, you see it here on the right. With a bunch of number, right? And uh, I start from 1, and I end up with uh, 1 million, right? If you notice on this column, the value of y is getting closer and closer to a certain value, which is this one, 2.71. That, that is the value of e. Okay, and this one can be also seen graphically. If you put this one on a graphing tool, you're going to get a graphing like a green graph here, and you can notice this is the asymptote y equals e. One of the uh, reason for using E is for calculating continuously compound interest. A equals P, where P is the principal, uh, E to the R, where R is the rate, and T at the time you keep that money. Now, there are more other uh, reasons for using E. If you take more my classes, you can see it. Another good approach, if you want, for finding E is to use y equal 1 plus x to the 1 over x power. You're going to get the same value. Okay, and now let's take a look at the graph. This is e to the x, right? Um, it's an exponential function, as I said before, nothing different. Uh, we have this 0 and 1 here. Uh, now, this one here is 1 and e. So for example, uh, this point here, right? This one is 2 and e, right? E being 2.71, if you remember. And we can move here, and this one would be negative 1 and e to the negative 1, which you can calculate it with a calculator uh, between it, which I'm going to do right now. Uh, a scientific calculator will do your this type of job very simple, e to the negative 1 e to the negative 1 is 0 0.36 and it depends how many meters more units. Okay, other than that, look at, let's take a look here. The same transformation, right? Uh, you see here uh, the green graph, the green graph, this one was move up 3 units, right? These pointers have move up 3 units, the horizontal asymptote move. The blue graph is 3 units down. So, yes, the same transformation like the other exponential function. The same uh, horizontal transformation, if you notice. And now, let's take a look to the last thing. Yeah. It says here, use the graph of y equals e to the x to evaluate each expression for this one. In fact, what I really want you to do is to use a calculator. Okay, and we put in the calculator e and and see, be sure you know how to put power of 3 in your calculator. So in this case, we have 20.0855. We don't want us to evaluate each other to four decimals, so we're going to stop to this guy. Okay. If you want about e to the fifth power, can you do it? Let's see what we get. So this is what I got with a to the fifth power. If you uh, round it up, it's going to be, uh, it's going to end up over two, right? What about negative exponents? The same story. A calculator, scientific calculator, would be very uh, yes useful. And 
I have e to the negative third power. 0 0.04978. Okay, so maybe you want to round it up to the 9.8. Okay, what about number 18? e to the negative 5 power. Go ahead and try to win the calculus and let's see what we get. That is the value of e to the negative fifth power. Oh, yeah. yeah, even though we have negative exponent, remember this, uh, the answer is a positive, a very small number close to zero. If you enjoy these videos, you don't forget to click the like button, bell, type, and come back and see square for more math video clips. Thank you.